either way, let's move on to our next trailer, which is, ah, one I've been actually really wanting to see. I have to, the one issue with having to uh, do these trailers live on a Wednesday is the fact that I can't watch them when they come out. I like to actually have the direct reaction to it. So, oh well, this is the new MCU movie of this week in trailer form. It is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That's the one. I'm curious to see where this goes. Because, you know, I, I obviously... Not a very good uh, Marvel fan beyond, like, into the comics. I only know the MCU movies too much. But uh, it, uh, I've seen lots of kind of Asian approaches to different superheroes and stuff. And this, it'll be interesting to see how they do the Marvel version of it. I'm genuinely curious for this sort of stuff, you know? So uh, let's see how they keep doing. The one note I do know, I have no idea what, like, the one-inch punch is all that comes to in my head. I heard that they might have changed the actual Ten Rings from the comics. And I'll point it out and see if it's even true. I could be entirely wrong. And where did that get you? So far, this doesn't even look like Marvel. I can't explain why. I, like, I know Marvel has like a, 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 a design somehow. Like this looks like a normal film and maybe it is is it it's not just because of the cast like this shot doesn't look like an mcu shot to me although i guess i could almost see it in Win falcon the winter soldier so maybe i'm just talking out of my ass i don't know but like not getting the vibe yet but that's fine i want to see some some newness you know it feels kind of indie yeah the costumes feel like the marvel tv shows the old ones, because it looks more comic-y. Hmm. Yeah, uh, hmm. Not there yet. Like it, there's there's elements that lean it to it. Like you know, the classic. You know, there's the VFX that Marvel has. Wow. Um, this bit as well, how it's so PG, makes me think. Okay, yeah, all right, that's probably safe and Marvel. But then afterwards, I'm like, ah, but actually, I don't know. Like this. I mean, it almost feels a bit too artsy for Marvel, but we'll see. Supposedly, it's ultra important for the next phase of the MCU, but you don't know any of the details. Interesting. Okay. I mean, anything could be at this point. I always thought, I thought a Secret Invasion was going to be the big one. They're getting many celebrity cast members for it, so I guess we'll see. I trained you. And he's dead. All oh, right, that's a that's a harsh way to start a character in the MCU, but I guess you know. Everyone, I mean, if his powers are in the afterlife, then I guess that makes sense. But oops, <laughs> wow, very strong, uh, very strong choice there, Marvel. Anyway, excuse my stupid jokes. He or she, they look very comic inspired, which is really interesting because obviously MCU is so much more blunt and rounded and. Uh, less cartoony it's really strange to see this but it definitely makes it not feel like an indie film now it just also feels a little out of place it's like a little bit of a halfway point maybe kill you. it could be because uh marvel is very american based yeah i can see that like it's it's strange to see all this asian representation in the asian world with presumably i assume still american based writers you know, for you to take your place by my side. but I mean, I'm curious to see where it goes. Okay, so here's the part I've heard. Instead of actually ten rings, like in the comics, I don't know, I don't know, these characters all bling blinged up or something. I don't know, but this would be the new representation of the ten rings. It's bracelets instead, which apparently makes sense for the translating element of the new format or something. But uh, interesting. It definitely looks like that's the rings. But that's that's the only piece of information I actually know externally from like a Reddit comment I think I saw it from. Ooh. That's not going to happen. How did that happen? Well, I said that's not going to happen, but I want to see how that did happen. What's the context there? So the water like explodes on him like something out of Inception or out of both things. And they poke around at it. I assume then it's none of them doing it because none of them look very... uh invested in what they're doing but it's just like there's an external guy that's gonna be like look at the powers i have shown you 
Ha ha, you too can become a waterbender. You know, well, I've, I'm the waterbender. You could be, oh, I'm lightning bender. That's not even an avatar thing, but, you know. Big dog sign on the right. Classic base for the American audiences. Ooh. Sorry for all the pausing. I have to do this for the sake of copyright things. Um, because I, um, my last few trailer analyses, surprise, surprise, they'd get copyright strikes or claims every time I'd watch the trailer. So I'm going to be pausing a bunch just to make it, you know, its own separated points. But it gives me a chance to talk things through the first time round, at least. Oh, okay. That's, again, who's the director of this? I, I hope they're a bit more, uh, like... They, they're being more fancy, like, I don't know what that symbol means, and obviously it's kind of cropped out by the actual framing, but, like, that, I imagine, that's probably pretty smart, whatever's going on. Also, helicopter. That's cool, that's what I came back here for. Eat your heart out, Game of Thrones, this is way better. Maybe, I don't know. Actually, that could also very easily be, it kind of looks it like a CG knife, you know? Like, it gets one shot in, like it's a perfect frame, and then it appears... Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, I thought the knife went over to him. I was like, bub bub, but no. Could easily be some sort of... I don't know. Either way, it was cool. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this a lot. I love how, like, light they are on their feet. That's really cool. <laughs> Is he carrying a lion? Oh, he's he's got a lion behind him. Gotcha, gotcha. All right then, or not lion, whatever it is, mythology. That remind this makes me think it's like um, a Thor Ragnarok flashback scene, just because of the scale of it, but it could just be the actual battle scene. I'm curious to see how it ties in. All sorts of curiosity is brewing from this, because it's just so like separated and segmented as its own little thing, you know? But yeah, the cinematography is great so far. I'm loving it. You can't outrun. There is so much to see. Is he in America now, or is this just a... No, this could just be a, a random bus. Also, that is also the bus scene. Okay. Swordman. A kick. Horses. Cool. And yet it's also modern day. Very cool. Okay. Uh, couple white guys. Is this not... Like, uh, have we gone back to America? Like, has he moved on? They're speaking English, but that could just be filmmaking things. <laughs> and I, I have a feeling he's not about to attack a random civilian. I doubt it. Maybe I can tell from the, uh, these? Can't stop, won't stop. Alright, yeah, this is probably American then. Like he's moved over. Fitness center. Work it out, fitness center. Maybe. I don't know. Who are you? Also, uh... Hi. I remember another comment I saw from before, but we'll get there in a minute. Hold on, is that actually- yeah, okay, that is actually ten rings, just had to count for a second. Oh yeah, this is what I remember. <laughs> Aquafina's bus destroys like every car in the vicinity or something. It's California. Or going to California. Alright! That's a lot to process. There was, how long was that trailer? My goodness. That is lengthy. I bet, I bet uh, Marvel fans are having a field day with that. That's two minutes of just so many shots to see as well. <sighs> this might be a bit more for me to, to be able to chew, honestly, but that cinematography was fantastic. Um, it kind of feels like the trailer was general, mm, maybe not generally chronological, um, but you know, there's very clearly the Asian like, uh, foundation, and then towards the end, hey, we're in America. You can tell because, <laughs> oh, no, the incompetence of destroying nine cars in a bin van, you know, all comes together. <laughs> um, but there was, there was so much to process. So, like, okay, the guy's always practicing on a plank of wood, getting that one-inch punch ability or something like that. Very cool. What are his powers? I don't actually even know that. Like, is it just come from the ring? Is he just a really good, like, martial artist? I, I don't, I don't even know this. I know nothing. Which is, I think, kind of like the nicest experience, as opposed to, like, hyping myself up, knowing the source material, and then being disappointed by what it ends up being. You know, that's, like, to me, the worst case scenario.
but I don't know. You know, he's into his fitness. He has a cool car or he's buy a cool car. This is a whole new character that is very cool. Okay. All right. Is that him? Well, either way, he's a, he's a karaoke Chad kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, wait, is this? Have I been processing this wrong? Maybe I have, because this is also Aquafina. Yeah, okay, this is both of them. But then they're also right driving the the bus. Man, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but okay, so they go through this bit. Yada yada yada. Simple co-workers that enjoy okay, they're like workers that get close together generally. What changes? They have a, a random mutual friend. What? That's their upbringing. Okay. Being taught by whoever this guy is. Okay. And then he's got like a... He's gotten better over the years. What in your shadow? You walked in my shadow. You walked in my shadow. Okay, so it's like the dad talking to him and with a bunch of rings on him. All right, so he gets passed down. Okay. This very much, this now giving me like serious uh, Black Panther vibes and Wakanda vibes, where it's like you have the Black Panther mantle that's being passed down. Uh, and now it's like the sort of Asian representation of a new twist of that format. Okay. That's what it can do. It gives you uh, purple powers. He does not have powers from what I remember. Okay, it all comes from the ring. Interesting. Well, okay, but he's got that, like he's, you know, not incompetent. So he tr the dad trained him up, or that guy trained him up, so that he couldn't be killed. Okay, and then, and then he's put onto a, well, this might be the enemy base. Nope, nope, it's, it's the, it's the father. That's the father. And then there's the Ten Rings where he's told to become the, you know, the next thing. He gets the powers in this case and uses, okay, so maybe he is using his powers here, but I don't even understand entirely what his powers are. I thought it was just purple magic. Also though, like, don't the colors of the magic in the MCU represent stuff? And that's the same as Wakanda? Also though here, his rings aren't glowing. So there's just water craziness going on potentially. And again, Aquafina is here too. Okay, we have a, so did they all move together? Man, okay, oh, processing. Fight again. Oh, so he is the villain? I thought he was the trainer, like a mentor. And yet, no, they are fighting. Okay. Who knows? Finally beats the mentor, hopefully. We'll see. Then there's this, which is his own separate thing with a massive, massive scale. I love it. Okay. In just a completely different region. This, I'm doubtful, is the... Is that... Earthbending? Like, why is there a stone flying? Oh, that's his, that's his shield. Okay. I feel like this is a flashback to like a big family fight. Possibly, because they don't look like the protagonist here. Uh, but I could be wrong. But like, I imagine in like it climaxes in America to bring it over to that world, I would have thought. These are the people that are supposed to kill him and he survives or maybe he doesn't. He makes a friend out of her because they're good. Then yeah, in America, they've got some bad guys to deal with. They're back here, they've got... Who is that? Oh, that's him in the rings. Who is he fighting? I don't know. Okay. Oh, man, he's in... There's are so many action scenes in this. They all just come together. A big... Okay, fortress. Again, makes me think of a flashback. Although, honestly, it reminds me of the new Snyder Cut Justice League, honestly. Which I know, way off, but it's where my brain wanders to. His dad is the Mandarin, and he stole the rings from the dragon called Fin Fang Fun. Really? Interesting. So then, yeah, he's in America, fights in the buses against... That just looks like a couple of chavs, honestly, but all right. <laughs> and then, what's the jump to... Oh, hold on. Who are you? Excuse me? Does he, like... Is there a memory wipe going on here? How does she not know him? Unless this is where they first meet, but then they go back. They become... Workers, is she from another reality? Like, what is... Man, I don't know enough of this source material to do this. <laughs> and he gets in a fight, and this might be before the... Actually, we might be able to work this out. This is where he goes into a tunnel. So is this section in a tunnel anywhere? Hold on, where is it? Here, here. 
Where's the big posy part in the tunnel? Or in the middle of the bus? Here. No, you can't tell. No. Maybe it's not afterwards then. I don't know. The fact that they're asking and leaning on this means that I feel like he knows her at this point and she just doesn't know him. It's just a bit weird. I would I would think. Also, does he have the rings? Maybe they're on underneath. And it's just this martial arts coming out. Interesting. And then skip all of this. And they destroy everything. And she's like restarted for some reason. Okay. Oh, is that a grandma holding on for dear life? Huh. And then classic. <laughs> all right, just with a camera out or his phone. Okay. Going to California and the some square that I can't read the first word of very well. All right. Wow. Interesting. There is a lot going on there. Huh. But fair enough. Um, I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I'm too much of an MCU fan to not watch it, but yeah, I have no idea what to expect from that. I feel like even if I, even after looking at that trailer a fair bit, that's not gonna process a lot of that, I think, but it is what it is, I guess. Can't wait to see what it turns out to be.